Hi everybody, this is Mr. RB. I'm going to show you how to draw an uppercase letter H in, in perspective today. We'll be using one point perspective. I have my pencil, eraser, a piece of paper, and a straight edge. To get started, I'm going to create my horizon line. Today I'm putting it high up on the paper and it'll go horizontally, horizon horizontally, across the paper. The horizon line will separate the sky from the earth. It's also the same as our eye level. So everything above that line, above this horizon line, we're looking up at it. Think clouds, planes in the sky, ceilings. Everything below it is below our eye level. Think your feet, things on the floor, in this case, the letter H. All right, I need to add a vanishing point, and I only need one today because this is one point perspective, and there we go. To begin with, I'll also need to create a bubble letter H. I'm gonna make two lines, one, two, I'm going to connect little feet across the top. That's what I call them. One, two, and little feet across the bottom. One, two. And then I'm going to draw down, stop, skip, down. I'm going to draw down, stop at the same spot, skip, down. Ooh, that one needs to get connected. I now need to connect the two middle places, bottom and top. I can get rid of any messy bits. If I accidentally erase something that I want to keep, I can redraw it. Oh my goodness, look at that. I totally erased that corner. What was I thinking? There we go. One bubble letter H. Now let's turn it into a three-dimensional H. Here's how. We're going to use that vanishing point. We're going to connect this to the top corner of the H. I put my pencil on the vanishing point straight edge on the pencil and I pivot just like in basketball till I touch that top corner. I can make a line that goes all the way down to the corner. Most of this line will get erased. Draw lightly. I'm now going to do that to the bottom corner. Pencil on the vanishing point, straight edge on the pencil, pivot till I touch that corner and down and Again, I'm drawing lightly because most of that will get erased. This will give us the side wall of the H. Notice that on the bubble letter, the side is a vertical, and I want the back line to also be a vertical. The front line and back line should match. Here's how we'll do it. I'm just going to put my, pen, my straight edge on that bubble letter H, and then slide a little to the left and connect my two vanishing lines. Nice. I no longer need all of this vanishing line back here. Remember when I said most of it would get erased? Well, there we go. Out of the way it goes. I can always redraw the edge of, of the segments I'm keeping. I can even add a little tone to separate them from the original bubble letter side and give a little contrast. There we go. Now I want to do the same thing. See how I have the side of the H? If you think of the letter H as a big building, this would be the side wall. We need the roof here. We're also going to need the roof here and here and a few other things, but we'll get there. I'm going to put my pencil back on the vanishing point, straight edge on the pencil, and I'm going to connect to that other corner. Once again, notice that the top 
of that leg of the H was a horizontal. I'm going to put my ruler right there, slide it up, 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 and get a similar horizontal at the back corner. Now I can erase the rest of that work line. That was very helpful, but now we want it out of the way because we don't want people to know how we just magically created this. All right, let's keep going. I'm going to add um, uh, a corner over here. I need to connect to the vanishing point on the top on that side of that leg. Notice I need to make sure that my ruler really is pointing towards, towards the vanishing point. That is very important. Keep using that vanishing point or your drawings will get very imprecise. Now I have the top here and the top here. I know where the back of this one is. I'm going to use the back of this one to create the back of the other. Because see how these two, one lines up directly with the other? If they line up in front, hey, why not line them up in back? All right, I put my straight edge on that little line segment and then I just create another little line segment for the other leg. Not bad. I'll reinforce the line segments, the segments I'm going to keep. I get rid of the parts that I don't need anybody to see. And I've got a roof here and a roof here. I have a sidewall here and a, oh, no sidewall. All right. I know it has to start at this corner. I know the front one, when it started at that corner, went straight down vertically. So uh, let's do the same thing. I'm going to put my straight edge on that line and there's a slide to the left till I get to the top corner. And there you go. I know it goes down to there. I wish I could tell you that you were all done now, but there's more. See this corner down here? Oh, tricky, tricky letter H. That needs to be connected to the vanishing point. See how the line comes down? And in this section, it seems three-dimensional. But when you get to here, it's hitting the bubble letter. It shouldn't hit the bubble letter. We're going to fix that. I'm going to put my pencil right in that little elbow. I'm going to put my straight edge on my pencil, pivot till I touch that vanishing point way up here, and then connect. That's the piece I want. I'm going to get rid of this rest of this vertical line, add a little tone, match. And then remember how this piece is a horizontal? If it's a horizontal in front, it'll be a horizontal in back. So I'm going to place my ruler right on there, float it up a little till I get to that corner. And there is the horizontal. Let's restate that line. I do have a little bit more to do. Remember how you can see the sidewall of this tall leg? And you can see the sidewall of this upper half of the right leg? And you can see the side, oh wait, you can't see the sidewall of this lower half. Mm-mm, oh well. All right, once again, we put our pencil on that corner. And I know it's the right corner because it's the correct corner because I'm not having to draw through the letter H right now. See, I'm going into empty space. I'm not going through the letter. So I'm going towards the vanishing point. I'll draw my line. Oh, I hit the I hit the letter, so I'm going to stop. Don't go through your letter. But how far back does it go? Does it go that far back? Here's an easy way to check. Put your pencil on the upper leg, your straight edge along that vertical, and then just draw, 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 draw. Stop. Skip, 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 skip. Draw, draw, draw. And that's how you know, yep, it turns out I did need a little bit of vertical showing. I'll add a little tone to that piece too, to that shape. 
I think the tone does help make it clear and easier to see. I think it makes it a lot more convincing. And that makes sense because if there's there's got to be some light. And if there's any sort of source for the light or more light coming from one area than another, you got to figure that there'll be shadows because the light will hit different sides more and less. There we go. Uh, again, we're not really talking about shadow cast on the ground in this, but just to really quickly give you a sense of, um, even by just adding a little sort of faking it shadow, it's not very convincing. I didn't measure it. I didn't worry about where it was coming from. I'm just giving a little bit of shadow there. Even that, just faking a little. Notice how it goes sort of sideways. It's like a sideways shape. Clean up the inside of that letter H, of course. And there we go. One letter H. Hello, hello. Enjoy.